of the downsides of COVID was just kind of access to, to viewing catamarans. Um, you know, one of those boats in particular that just kept escaping me, I could never find an opportunity to film one, it was with the Fountain Peugeot Aura 51, which was a replacement for the Saba 50. Um, there were so many unique and cool features in that boat that they borrowed from the Saba 50, as well as a couple of changes they made, which I don't know, I might not, might not like quite as much as what the Saba 50 had, but all in all, it's definitely a step forward in the um, overall design uh, of a 50-foot catamaran from Fountain Peugeot. Now, the particular boat we're going on board today, Vienna, is not currently on the market, but it is available for charter. So I'm gonna have a link to that boat in the description down below. And if you're interested in chartering an Aura 51, definitely click that link and let's get you out sailing. Anyways, without any further ado, let's jump aboard. Okay, we're gonna to begin today's tour here on the Starboard Sugar Scoop. First thing is, I just want to point out, it's got the uh, tender lift system that Fountain Peugeot has been using for years. I actually had to open one up not too long ago to uh, take a look at it for, for a client on a deal. And I was really impressed with just how simple, easy, and uh, just good the overall design is for the mechanics of that system. Um, and then they've got quite the flashy high field tender. Um, I think it'll get really, really hot and they're probably going to regret uh, having black and red seats um, you know once it gets really hot out like it is today um, but you know that's the joy of owning your boat you can do whatever the hell you want and uh, <laughs> doesn't matter nobody can say anything to you so we're going to make our way here on the uh, starboard sugar scoop through here we've got access to one of the two mechanical spaces this boat's very comparable to the saba 50 which is what it replaced and um, I, I really love it i mean i the saba i thought was such an excellent boat and they just took all of the good from the saba and then all of the good things from the elba sayona Steria, all the other boats and really incorporated it into this new design so we're going to come back to the cockpit make our way around the weather deck first so very similar feeling to like the Sayona or any of the other new models from, or newer designs from, uh, from Fountain Peugeot. Um, it's that home arrangement that, that I personally love a lot, which is a um, kind of um, deck level or bulkhead level, uh, a deck level helm, I guess it's not really bulkhead steering in this particular case, which gives you such a good connection, not only to the cockpit, the sky lounge, uh, good lines of sight forward and aft when you're docking starboard side too and uh, all in all just a great great design so this boat's equipped with quite a few of the um factory installed uh you know walk-on panels it'd be really interesting to see how those perform over over time um you know i think a lot of this this um hybrid electric solar stuff is still it's coming a long ways but it's it's still very much in the um developmental stages i think like i personally would not go with an electric drive boat um but I know that's what a lot of consumers want, and that's what the manufacturers are trying to trying to deliver. Um, although servicing that, the the reliability, complicated systems, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, do do make me kind of a nervous uh, nervous consumer when it comes to that sort of thing. Anyways, up here we've got a uh, four deck area, very comparable to the Saba, which is you know as I mentioned the boat this replace uh, feels a little bit wider, a little bit bigger. Um, the seating arrangement, the anchor locker arrangement, uh, pretty much the exact same from the Saba. They've got the opening window like you see on all the newer models, um, so you get some really good ventilation through that space. This particular boat does not have the bow sprit, although that would be easily added. Give you guys a quick pano here of the uh, foredeck. So it's a double spreader rig, just like the uh, Saba 50 has. And this boat's also got the square top mainsail. So we're gonna make our way here around the um, port side weather deck. And uh, while doing that, I, I probably should have gone up to the sky lounge on the way, way up, but we've got the sky lounge like you see on all the Fountain Peugeot range, which from my personal experience on board these boats is uh, definitely my favorite place to hang out, um, you know, at nighttime during the day. Uh, not so much just cause I don't like being out in the sun um really nice thing that they added i like that they carried this glass a little bit further aft just to help keep the cockpit a little bit more protected and dry um because that is where where the weather is going to come in from when you are at anchor okay a couple of steps brings us back down to the weather deck we're here we've got the second mechanical space and a really really good view of the tender from up here 
pretty sick looking tender. Got access to the owner's stateroom here, but we'll take a look at that here in a moment. And I'm just gonna give you guys a quick pano through the salon here. Now the thing I love mo or cockpit, the thing I love most about this boat is also the thing that I like least about it. I love how much it opens up here. I just think you're sacrificing counter space. Um, but but I think it's worth the cost though because of just how open this entire space feels here. Large day bed to port side. L-shaped settee over on the port side here for alfresco dining where you could easily sit 10 people. There's actually a bench that extends out of here to there as well as a, a tabletop that extends all the way here for additional diners. Uh, nice day bed here over on the starboard side, cockpit refrigerator, and just a seamless flow into the salon from the uh, cockpit here. So this is this is the thing that I, I love is I love how open it is, but the 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 Walk through on either side of the kitchen island kind of does reduce the prep area, which, you know, it's a compromise. And at the end of the day, all of these boats, you know, are, are compromises. So nice L-shaped settee over here on the starboard side. We've got the uh, Garmin system here with the uh, multiplex to control the vessel. Nice L-shaped settee, I think I may have mentioned over here on the starboard side, as well as a really nice aft-facing settee center line. Now this is the five cabin layout. So the starboard aft cabin, um, we're not gonna look at, that's the crew cabin. This is the starboard midship cabin here, which is a nice size berth, not a walk around, but still a nice berth nonetheless. And then a really nice size head with a separate shower stall. Making our way forward here on the starboard hall. We get to the second guest stateroom here, which is very comparable to what, what you know, you've seen on Sabas and different boats. Um, you know, the other Fontaine Peugeot is kind of in this class. Uh, really well appointed, I might add. A lot of natural light coming in from the window on the outboard side. And then a shower very comparable to what, what we saw on the um, Saba 50 here in that starboard forward cabin. So, I mean, you know, in general, Fontaine Peugeot does an excellent job designing boats in this class. And um, the Aura 51 is a, a good example of just how competent and capable they are as a, as a designer. Or builder, I should say, because I didn't design the boat. So making our way port side, we'll go to the uh, port forward cabin, which is a mirror of what we saw starboard forward. Nice athwart ship berth. A lot of natural light coming on the outboard side from the window there. There's also overhead deck hatches too. And then a shower all the way forward port. Now, this is probably my, I mean, not probably, it's definitely the best cabin on the boat, the owner's stateroom. Um, they took a lot of the features from the Saba 50 and just approved upon it, like having it as an authort ship berth that's a full walk around. Ton of storage aft, access to the cockpit aft, tons of natural light through here. I mean, I see, I see myself on a boat like this with that door open at night, that hatch open, some of the hatches forward open, and just a ton of natural breeze flowing through the space. I'm gonna come all the way aft here. Give you guys kind of a quick pan of the master stateroom. Tons of storage here on the uh, inboard side as well. And probably one of the other things I like a lot about this over the Saba 50 is I like the fact that the, the, the bathroom actually feels a little bit more closed off, creating kind of a, a really um, like separate distinct um, space. Like I think in the Saba 50 it was a little too open almost. So I like the fact that you've got an entryway here. Forward we've got the head. Middle we've got a large single basin sink with storage down below, uh, a mirror. And then here we've got the shower aft. And I think it's a, an improvement over the um, head on the Saba 50. So there you go, there is the Aura 51. If you have any questions on the boat or interested in chartering it, definitely leave a comment down below, shoot us an email, and as always, if you like what we have to say, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks and have a good day.